Hello, my name is Leopoldo Armesto and in this video we're going to continue learning how to program with Facilino and particularly how to implement functions and procedures. The difference between a function and a procedure is a very little difference because a function returns a value while a procedure does not. So this is the outline of the presentation. Uh, we are going to present three exercises and in each of them there's a, an example in which we want to use a function in order to reuse the code for uh, later use, let's say. So in this case, uh, we want to blink an LED so that the user specifies with two numbers uh, by typing them on the, on the console or the USB console. By typing these two numbers, we want to specify the uh, number or the amount of time that the LED should blink and also the, the delay time or the toggle time between uh, each uh, period of, of, of the LED. So when we use a function, we can define and put a name. We can also include arguments to the function by clicking here on this mutator and add as many arguments of the type we want as we want. Yeah? And that will create uh, this kind of block instruction in which we can put additional code on, in it. This is uh, what we call the function definition, so everything we put inside this function will be in the function definition here, as you can see here in the code, but also because of the C language of Arduino, it also requires the function declaration here at the beginning of our code to declare that we're, we're going to or we have somehow this function, uh, so that has these two arguments, so uh, the, the program knows how to use it when we call the function. And this is an example of how to call the function. And uh, this is once, once we create the function, there will be or appear a block here with the function call. And this is how we call it, okay? By passing, in this case, two arguments that are read from the uh, USB port. So let me show how this example works uh, on a live demo. Okay, so in this case, because of the way the simulator is done, uh, let me open the serial console, I need to introduce first uh, the, the delay time, let's say I want a blinking time of 500 milliseconds and I want an LED to blink five times, so when I press send here you will see the, the LED blinking five times. One, two, three, four and five. And of course, we can modify the frequency and the amount of times and repeat this procedure. Let's say 200 milliseconds and three times. One, two, and three, and much more faster, as you could see. Okay. Let me return back to the presentation. Okay, in this second example, the idea is that we want to uh, compute some kind of mean uh, of uh, whatever uh, signal, in this case, we are doing 30 consecutive measurements that we read from the potentiometer that is connected to A0 and as a result of this function call we want to have a return or number that that's why we use a function instead of a procedure as before and in this function we have no in this case uh, no input arguments but we have a return value that we have to specify also the type of the return value we, we want for this function. So in this case we are computing or we are doing uh, the mean of 30 measurements that so we are accumulating the value here in the mean variable and in the end we divide it by the number of uh, measurements we've done so we have a mean and this is what we return and as I said here this is a float, a float means that we have a decimal value that it's a real value that we want to use somehow and in this case we use it in order to plot a data. So if we uh, show here uh, the exercise, you will see again, let me put, uh, open the console, you will see here in the serial monitor that the values are not, uh, in this case are not integers anymore but are real numbers and I can change this thing here and every time I change the position of the wiper it performs uh, a mean or a third, 30 uh, values of the same position so that's why we, we have this repetition and here we have uh, 
the, the, the plotting chart of, of the action or the, uh, the, the effect of moving the wiper. In a real example, uh, signals could have noise and this average uh, uh, or this procedure could average somehow and filter out part of this noise. So that's why I'm introducing this, this example. So, and in the last uh, example, uh, we want to implement some kind of very basic Morse code example and for that we need to implement the dot and the dash function and in particular the dot function will have or will set an LED which is connected to pin 13 and will have a toggling time uh, equivalent for on and off period uh, of 200 milliseconds but the dash function will turn on the LED for 200 milliseconds and turn it off for 600 milliseconds. So we implement these functions. Uh, so the idea of this example is that you see how we can reuse this code here to call it several times. So in this particular case the dot function will set the LED to on, wait 200 milliseconds, set it to off and wait another uh, 200 milliseconds while the dash function will set it to on uh, for in this case, sorry, it's it's incorrect. It's 600 milliseconds on, and off will be 200 milliseconds. And here is how we, or the reason why we use functions, because we want to use it several times, or we want to call several times this function in our code. And in this case, if we want to implement an SOS, let's say a message um, coded in a Morse code, then we have to use three consecutive dots, three consecutive dashes and three consecutive dos because of the coding of, of Morse code. So that's why we use three consecutive dot functions here. We wait some time, we call the dash function three times, three consecutive times again, and we call this function. So let me show the example here in this, um, in this light demo. Again, the sound is not as accurate in a, as in a real example because of the Tinkercad simulator but you will see how it works. If I press start. It's taking a time because uh, Tinkercad server might be busy. Here it is. As you can see, it's beeping using the Morse code, uh, in this case, uh, code. Okay, so uh, in this example, I have uh, introduced how to use functions and procedures with Fatalino. Thank you very much.